now is 604 and we'll hear from the Kansas Jayhawks men's basketball team in New Orleans today just over 24 hours before their final four appearance against Villanova. So we sent KSHB 41 News reporter Jordan Betts to New Orleans to be part of all the action. Jordan, you've been there now for a few hours, got there after a long drive yesterday. Have you spotted KU fans out and about? Probably not at, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, but last night when you arrived, any KU love out there? Uh, we got here around 930 last night. I have not seen any KU fans, but I got a lot of thumbs up from some flight attendants that I saw that were glad that we were ahead and said best of luck to the Jayhawks. But I want to show you what's happening behind me. This is where all the action is going to be taking place here. It's at the Caesars Superdome. You can see the big final four that's displayed on actually on the other side of the stadium. I wish you could see is all four of the Blue Bloods that will be here taking on the team. And then just down below here in about less than 36 hours. Fans will be going through these doors. Villanova fans, KU fans taking on head to head the second time that they've done this since 2018. Those Villanova fans, well, the Villanova team destroyed Kansas, unfortunately, and really destroyed their dreams to go to a national championship. But that's in the past. Let's talk about right now. I spoke with a few of the KU broadcasters right before they left the other day with the team, and all of them say that really that game back in 2018 was done within the first few minutes for KU. But they pointed out two things. This is a different KU team, and this is a different Villanova team. KU lost that game 95 to, 95 to 79, and those broadcasters truly believe that this is Kansas's year and that they can do what needs to be done to win on Saturday and even win on Monday. We haven't been America's team. The president didn't pick us to win at all. I mean, it's beautiful. And how can you go under the radar and, and be Kansas and be a number one seed? But we haven't been as talked about. And we know things come up. One year it was free throws. Another year it was a late injury. But we are going, we are exactly who we want to be. I like that. We're exactly where we want to be. And by the way, President Biden, he picked Delaware to win it all. And sadly, that's not who's here at the final four. So this is what who's there in the final four. We got those big four blue buds. They'll take on Villanova at 5.09 p.m. on TBS, guys. I'm just excited. I, I can't wait to get inside today and see the team. I haven't seen the team in quite some time. And I can't wait to see the team tomorrow and hopefully win and even win on Monday. I'll put it right here. They're going to win. They're going to win it all. Wow, quite a claim she's making there okay, this Jordan. morning. Not a shocking one. Jordan being the big KU supporter and this much time she's been around <laughs> KU. Where are KU fans going to meet up? If we do have people that are saying, you know what, I'm going to drive down there today and spend the weekend there, where should they look to find other KU fans? Yeah, that spot would be Lucy's. We know that fans are going to go down there. That is the official bar of KU. We know that Brian Haney and David Lawrence and Greg Gurley, the broadcast team, the guys who do the radio play-by-play, -play, were there doing a broadcast there yesterday. Uh, we know there's more excitement that's going to be happening through the weekend and where KU fans are going to go. We'll bring that to you this weekend. Taylor and Ray.